guys and welcome to yet another video log it's uh, now april 14th valentine's day so happy valentine's day to you all uh, and as you can see the weather is improving spring has set in for now it can easily uh, go back to winter in a couple of weeks freezing but for now it's very nice weather and uh, because of that i've just let out my birds today for the first training in this year uh, training is, is a bit of a wrong word because uh, the only thing they had to do is just uh, fly and play in the air nothing more nothing less just let them loosen up their wings inside the loft most of these racing pairs are with eggs now i've just transferred the eggs from the breeding pairs to the racing pairs so uh, the racing pair uh, the breeding pairs will uh, come again with eggs and hopefully i will have a, a set of four from every breeding pair to race with this year uh, also some bad luck of course you will always see that one or two eggs uh, will be broken in this case uh, we have one fight we had one fight in the, in the racing compartment and those were the eggs of the first national ducks amber so bad luck for me but uh, hopefully the second round will be better and maybe i can change the eggs uh, to another pair so i can let them up do another pair and uh, hopefully i still have four youngsters from that but that's just guessing right now don't know for sure uh, it's about six weeks before racing season starts uh, as i said the birds are now with eggs the birds will uh, the eggs will hatch in about 10 days uh, and then uh, two and a half week they will bring up the youngsters before the youngsters uh, along with the hens will be separated to the new loft the young bird loft and then training seriously starts in all the time before so we are talking about four weeks five almost five weeks it's all playing no no force no pressure just let them out every day that's possible in the sun and just let them be ease up the wings ease up the muscles so we hopefully will not get any injuries although the racing these birds is, is my sport my hobby um, I'm not doing it all alone in uh, during the period from uh, April to September I've helped from my father my father helps me uh, with the young birds especially uh, he takes care of them so I can uh, let all my focus on the old bird season which of course is the most important for me as a marathon racer uh, and also my daughter helps me a lot uh, especially in weekends she uh, helps me uh, cleaning the lofts uh, feeding the birds she also has a favorite bird uh, I will show you or she will show you it's a chocolate colored bird called chocolate princess uh, it used to be a chocolate prince but uh, turned out to be a hen so we changed it to chocolate princess funny fact is the bird won uh, a tent uh, tens place against three and a half thousand birds that the young birds did this, uh, this year so very happy for her of course Also in this video log, I'm going to take you uh, to a trip to my friend uh, William van der Goorberg. He races in combined with Paul Kauenberg on the one day long distance races. I did some uh, filming over there last weekend and I'll show it to you. 
hopefully you enjoy this one. Bye. <laughs>
won three top prizes at the one day long distance races as yearling in a very heavy season. So that's the quality of the birds that Willie has. All races were with uh, wind at the head. Of with a headwind and with high head, temperatures. With a headwind and also high temperatures. But uh, he comes uh, very good. So these birds, uh, Willie, are housed at your home. The racers, you do, I, or you do them together with Paul, but they are housed at your uh, loft and the breeders are housed at Paul, correct? Correct. Okay, your loft, can you tell me something about it? How long is it? Um, the racing loft is about uh, seven and a half meters. And uh, this- How many compartments? This, this loft is divided in four compa compartments. Uh, two compartments uh, are, for, uh, are for the the cocks and also two compartments for the youngsters. Uh, the system that you use, total widowhood. Yes. Can you tell something about it? Do you uh, start total widowhood from start to finish every every race of the season? Yes, we started uh, with uh, with the races. We started to uh, breed, breeding. Uh, they uh, bring up uh, a round of of the breeders and. Uh, after that, they going uh, they going to separate, and um, short before the season, uh, we put them together again, and uh, then after three or four days breeding, they uh, separated also again, and then uh, we start uh, the widowhood system. We start the widow widowhood system, and and can you? Uh Define a difference? Do you think cocks are better, hens are better, or no difference at all? No, both of them fly really good. Uh, there's no uh, difference uh, in in, pres in, uh, in results. In results. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So here you have it, people. Small loft, only a small amount of birds, and top prizes, which can only means only one thing: top quality and nothing less. Amazing. Thank you, Willie. So that's You're it welcome. for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next week, another video log will appear, of course. I'm trying to do this every Thursday. Uh, don't blame me, please, if it's going to be on a Friday. Uh, in racing season, also, things are going to change a little uh, because I want to report from the previous week. So I think they'll be uh, on Monday at that period. But for now, every Thursday, a new video log. If you have any questions regarding whatsoever, just give me an email. Uh, my email address is shown up in the screen. Uh, please share this video in all your social media apps and see you next time. Hopefully you have a nice week. Bye.